Well, I'll do a quick little update here in the 1934 Chevy Master Deluxe. Slowly but surely getting it back together. It's all wired. Pretty much all plumbed. I just got to do the radiator lines and then obviously once I get the carburetors rebuilt, run my gas line over. Made up an alternator bracket so I can put an alternator on it. We are, I, bleh, not we are, but I converted over to 12 volt. Just because, just because. The 216 in there is definitely not original, if you didn't see the first video. The original engine is junk, and that would have been a 207. This is a 1952 216, which didn't exactly bolt in, if you look at the first video. But I got my starter back, had that rebuilt real quick, brushes and bushings and whatever else I needed. And then... uh. Got my kill switch on there and my coil and plug wires. I'm not a fan of the yellow ones, but it's not my car and that's what the owner wanted. Uh, like I said, it's all wired. I just made my own electrical harness. There's a fuse box over there. I just got to do a little bit more tidying up, but uh, that's pretty much done. The yellow wire there is for the horn. I got to put a horn switch in it. But, uh... And make a better battery tray. I don't like that one. But that's where I'm at on it. Uh, I know it doesn't look like a lot, but it's a lot. <laughs> it's got this really cool hood ornament on it too for the radiator. The owner of the car says that's a very rare one. Which I'll just take his word for it because I have no idea. Looks cool. Uh, the exhaust is done. I think I might have said that. So... Next up, oh, someone asked about the front end here. This is uh, GM's attempt at making independent front suspension back in the 30s. I don't know a lot about them. I know they're not very cheap to rebuild. So we'll see how this works. We did find paperwork and all the paperwork that they were rebuilt back in the 60s. And a car was parked shortly after that. So it's possible those are really nice shape. We'll find out. If not, there's always a plan B. But there's a big spring in there, and these two things here are your shocks. There's actually like a cam in there that works the shocks. There's a spring. You can actually adjust ride height from right there. You have to put GM shock oil there, which I'm pretty sure GM doesn't make no more. But, uh, yeah, it's different. I think they only made that for like four years, maybe? I know in 1940 was the first year of the more traditional independent suspension with the kingpins and all that stuff. So it didn't last very long. And I want to say 34 was the first year of this. So that's it. That's all I got. Uh, waiting for my carburetor kits to come in so I can rebuild these guys. That should be this week. And once they're rebuilt, we should be making noise by next weekend. So I'll make a video of that. So, talk to you guys later.